Mama Piano hits the rise of a genre and its impact on the mainstream music industry. Piano, piano, a big vibe, but the girls them know. Steady. From punchy earworm bit to smooth production and enchanting harmonies, Mama Piano has become a global sensation. Mama Piano, which means Zulu or so so for the pianos, is a South African house music genre that emerged in the mid 2010s. It is a hybrid of deep house, jazz, and lounge music characterized by synths and wide percussive. Base lines. Welcome to another episode of Future Story. Today, we're diving into the captivating world of Ama Piano music. In early 2020, the Ama Piano Challenge began gaining traction on social media platforms around the globe. The challenge allows people from different parts of the world to come together and celebrate the joy of music and dance across social media platforms. <laughs> The hits have introduced a fresh and infectious sound to the mainstream. Its unique fusion resonates with people on a profound level and has transcended cultural boundaries. Since its introduction to the Nigerian music industry, Ama Piano songs have continued to gain significant traction among music lovers with various artists blending elements of the genre into their music. In this episode, we explore the chat topping Ama Piano hits that have taken the music industry by storm and the profound impact they have on the mainstream music industry. Here are top 10 Ama Piano songs in Nigeria. At number 1, we have Unavailable by Davido featuring Most Kids. Directed by Davido's close collaborator Dama Twitch, Unavailable is the official comeback for the Nigerian superstar Davido. The visual is the first of a series coming from his chart-topping fourth studio album, Timeless, and shows Davido back at his best. At number two, we have Ashake and Olamide Amapiano. This artist worked closely with talented producers and songwriters to ensure that every element of the song aligned with the Ama Piano genre's essence. This collaborative approach allowed them to bring out the best in each other and create a seamless musical experience. At number 3, we have Oja Piano by Casey. The Japiano, Casey displays his own style and vocal skills while delivering a well-enchanted tune that is guaranteed to captivate listeners. Ojapiano has an Amapiano-like feel with a hint of local flute. The song is evidence of his artistic diversity and his capacity to produce music that connects with listeners of all musical taste. The excellent production of Ojapiano is a result of the accomplished music producer, Jason. Number 4 we have 230 Tranquility by Ashake. With its catchy beats and infectious lyrics that are sure to get stuck in your head, 230 Tranquility is a testament to Ashake's musical prowess. The song was produced by two talented music producers, Blaze Beats and Magic Sticks, who did an outstanding job of bringing Ashake's vision to life. At number 5, we have Abracadabra by Rexy Whisked featuring Skibi Naira Mali. Abracadabra featuring Naira Mali and Skibi was a massive play to end the year 2022. Its production was handled by Rex himself, who showcases the production of his Ama Piano sound to a high echelon. At number 6, we have Gwagolada by Benson, formerly known as Wuju, featuring Kiss Daniel and Shay Vibes. Gwagolada is a pure blend of Afrobeats and Amapiano, distinguished by the thrilling South African kicks. It is an infectious and vibrant new song that embraces the Amapiano sound and infuses it with a unique Nigerian Afrobeats flavor. At number 7, we have New Religion, Olamide and Ashake. 
Religion is a song by the rapper and singer Olamide alongside Asha Kerr, whose service is well accepted. It was recorded and released this year, 2023, and has started going viral and collecting many streams on the platforms and fans' commendations. <laughs> Number 8. We have Bullion Van by Shee Vibes. Shee Vibes makes his musical debut with the delivery of his smashing song called Bullion Van. You just cannot resist this amazing soundtrack, which features mind blowing lyrics and bits despite your best efforts to tune it out. At number 9, we have Aquafina, Young John. The Dada and Extra Cool crooner Young John has consciously blessed the music section with masterpiece tracks, and this one won't be an exception. In addition, this intriguing composition serves as a follow up to currency and is a blockbuster that you should add to your playlist if you enjoy decent music. At number 10, we have All Eyes On Me, Niniola. The Queen of Afro House music showcased our unrivaled vocal abilities in the aforementioned single, delivering a banger as expected. With her signature flow and an impeccable delivery, the music diva keeps delivering quality music and wonderful performances that will leave a longer impression on her audience. The success of Ame Piano Hits has opened doors for emerging artists and producers. It has provided a platform for new talent to shine and have contributed to the growth and diversification of the music industry. As we conclude this episode of Future Story, it's evident that Ame Piano Hits have made an indelible mark on the music industry. With their infectious melodies, groovy bits and cultural significance, they have captivated millions and continue to shape the ever-evolving landscape of music. Yeah.